Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chip sponsored by Interco Tour, where we're going to be taking a fantastic look inside Techni Limited here in Shrewsbury. And one great thing about this company, they have taken their machining process in-house, so they have total control. Congratulations, Charlotte. What a fantastic company you've got here. Thank you. And you're the commercial manager. Yes. That's incredible. Yeah, no, it's a great opportunity, great business, and yeah, things are going well. So can you tell me more about like what you're producing here then? So on site here, we produce a variety of different parts. Um, the main things that you can see are the uh, iron cast mount brackets. These are for refrigeration, air conditioning, front end auxiliary drives. Um, we do have a variety of turn parts as well, um, which get used in these systems too. And these systems, you're really growing as a business, aren't you? You're yes. producing parts that go out to America, even Australia. So how, where's the growth come from? So it's grown really organically over the past 12 years. Um, I think COVID affected a lot of businesses, but we were really fortunate that it actually gave us a boost. The type of market that we're in just really, really went off the scale. Um, the European market specifically has grown, but the US for us over the last two years has just been an enormous amount of growth. Now we're going to see some of the processes in just a few moments, but you've gone from outsourcing a lot of your work and yeah. bringing that in-house. Why yeah. did you do that? So being in control of our destiny is in our DNA. So we want to have as much control as possible. And when we acquired Techni Engineering about five years ago, we wanted to have as much control so that we could pass that control on to our customers and allow them to get what they need from us as quickly and efficiently as possible. And you're absolutely doing that. And we're <laughs> going to show you that process in just a few minutes. But my one question, I've got to ask you this. Female in engineering and manufacturing, it's good to see. In fact, I've seen more here than I probably have in about four or five months. There's women everywhere. How do you find it? It's great. It has its challenges, of course. It's a very male-dominated industry, which you can very much imagine. But women power, girl power here is how it's going. And uh, <laughs> it's really exciting to see, especially women engineers, women manufacturers. It's, it's yeah, really great. Yeah, you've got girls on the machines. You've got yep. girls in the offices, literally yep. everywhere. So it's really good to see. Thank you, Charlotte. You're Let's welcome. head over to Mark now to see the start of the process of your parts in the world of manufacturing here at Techni. Vinnie, this is quite a crucial stage, uh, but the first part of the process here at Techni Limited. Now, you've invested in this fantastic Roma arm from Hexagon, but tell me how you actually use it and why it's so critical. So this Roma arm allows us to create scans um, that generate a point cloud, and the point cloud can be used to determine um, a visual space where we can generate um, a CAD model. Um, of the amount of area that we have and pick up the datums that, that we can use within the engine. So I suppose really, because uh, every um, vehicle in, in this uh, showroom at the moment, obviously to a certain extent, is, is very different. And obviously, uh, I presume you don't work on the same models all the time. No, there are always different vehicles. Um, essentially, we need to, to just get a scan of each engine bay, find out what the OEM components are um, and how much room that we have to work with from the OEM. Um, then we can customise what we need to do and create custom bracketing um, for, that, for that purpose, basically. And uh, with the Roma arm, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a quick process. But what happens once you've actually got all your datums, you know, you, you've got all your images there? What, what's the next process in the business? So we have those uh, point cloud generated from um, the Roma arm. That will then turn into a mesh and that will map what we have in terms of space. And like you said, the datums. Those datums will then get processed within the design team, creating a CAD model based on that space that we have generated from this. Well, that's very good to actually see this in, in process. So it's over to Lindsay in the CAD CAM and design team. We're now in the room where the design team are and actually a bustling office too. We've just seen the scanning room and from there they will decide which route that you're going to go down. So it will either be a cast iron piece, which is going to take weeks because that's outsourced, or in fact months or they go down the billet route where they're looking at producing some of the parts from aluminium and there they will machine them. Now, Chris, you're part of the design team. Tell me about this process then. From scanning, what happens? So once we've got our scan data from the workshop, we upload it onto our 3D software programs and then we use all our point data, planes, um, references and things like that to actually build up 
from scratch our bracket design. And of course, what is that? you're going to come up against hurdles. So what is it that you're going to so, be yeah, dealing with? Ev yeah, every vehicle is different. Um, every six months, you know, the manufacturers will bring out new vehicles, new variants, new engines, new engine variants, so things like that. So nothing's ever the same. And it's the whole assembly, isn't it? It's just not. W it's not just one part, and then that's it. No, no. So it is cradle scrape. Every part is made in house, basically. So quite a bit of pressure on yourself. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit of pressure. Um, now you've got a machine shop literally next door where's that relationship because you can be designing something but we all know that may not be able to be machined with your capabilities so how's that relationship correct yes yeah. so me and alistair we work closely together we have our design review meetings and things like that so you know we can design crazy um complex designs but if it cannot be manufactured you know, yeah. the hurdles there straight away we love crazy, complex <laughs> designs. We're pushing you to the, they're certainly pushing you to their limits, or your limits. So, right, let's head over to the machine shop now where we're going to see that billet being machined. Ali, this is quite the uh, exciting part of the journey for me at uh, a company like Technic Limited. Now, we've spoken about the, um, the scanning, we've spoken about the uh, design guys. Now, they've got to work with you on the shop floor and you've really got to give them the best information to actually machine the best parts. Now, this is a brand new process that you've worked with uh, Ceritas at UK and Ireland. Can you tell us a little bit about what they've supplied you to make this component in one hit? Yeah, so uh, Ceritas have supplied us with uh, the ZSG and the uh, zero point system that you can see in the machine here. Um, we went down that route. I've got experience with it uh, in a previous role in a previous company. So I knew the uh, advantages of using the ZSG system. Uh, we contacted Derek from Ceritizit and he, he came to the same agreement that uh, it's a great product for what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve, which is machining a part uh, in one operation. So one and done, finished on, on the machine. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just been a, a fantastic product for us. And what, what's amazing on this, you've only got three milled of clamping here, haven't you? That's right, yeah, three mil, more than enough. Really, really rigid setup. Uh, most people wouldn't believe it, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's really fantastic. And tell me a, bit, a little bit about the uh, tooling strategy that you've uh, involved on this part. So yeah, we've used um, some uh, adaptive tool paths on this, uh, using a circular line end mill again from Sarah Tizit. Um, using sort of trachoidal tool paths to just reduce that uh, deflection, if you like, and reduce the risk of a part getting ripped out of the, ripped out of these, uh, out of the vice. And uh, yeah, altogether, really good, stable system. And tell me why you're actually machining from billet rather than some castings that you use here on other products? The main advantage is uh, just time scale, really. Um, massively reduced time scale, reduced cost. Uh, if we went down a more traditional route of using cast iron, um, then we've got additional costs in, in pattern tooling uh, and, and hugely increased sort of lead times, you know, three, four months at a time. Whereas this, we can, we can get a standardized billet, you know, almost next day onto the machine and uh, tooling and, and parts from WNT, same day. And uh, yeah, a great, great option for us. And I think that's the great thing with uh, Sarah Tizzi, it's a great collaboration because all the sales guys are technical guys, so they've worked, a lot of them worked on the shop floor, that's so right. for, for you to actually could be combining a lot of your knowledge, what you actually want, they can deliver such a system like this. That's great, yeah, Derek uh, at Sarah Tizzi has been fantastic, um, his knowledge is second to none, and uh, he was the one who actually recommended the circular line end mill to us, and it's performed fantastically, great material removal rates absolutely love it well i've seen a few smiles around here today when this was machining so absolutely great ali thanks very much indeed for your time and one thing is that Lindsay's joining me now to look at the next process i mean the, the great thing about this company is that you know they're really sort of taking control of that that whole process and i i know a lot of people say well spares uh, and you know and the packaging but th there's a synergy isn't there between Technic Limited and also Sarah Tizzit. Well, of course, they're, they're, they're talking about 24-hour uh, delivery times. Um, it's a family-run business. I mean, just look at all the parts they've got here. Um, and they've got to hold a lot of these parts to reach those delivery times. Um, it's a company that is growing, as Charlotte said. 
and um, their predictions for growth are massive. We're going to keep going. Which way do we go around? We're going to go. It's like a maze. It's literally way, yeah. like a maze. Um, 66 members of staff work here, so it's a sizable company too. Well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, when you've got uh, a lot of machining capacity here, uh, and the knowledge, uh, they've got over 80 years of knowledge of manufacturing, Lindsay, and I, I think that's one thing that you've got to take into respect is that, you know, they're serving customers worldwide and, you know, you look at all these spares. It's all these parts. Exactly, and, and they're delivered within, you know, with many reasons, within 24 hours and like uh, I around said, the world. They're a family of parts and they're assembling on site also. Right, um, I think there's a gentleman round here. Is his name Paddy? I think it is. Actually, I don't know who Lindsay. we're going yeah. to try and find. Where's, there's Paddy. Is this Paddy? Hiya, Paddy. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Um, so um, you're, are you in charge of this yeah, area? Yeah, I'm the warehouse manager of the area, yeah. And so you're hitting 24-hour delivery times as yeah, well. Yeah, all next day delivery, stuff like How that. How are you yeah. doing that? Um, we've, got a, we've got a very strict system where we stock the shelves before the customers order it. So we've got all minimum quantities and stuff like that, and we're always stocking the shelf, achieving customer satisfaction that's our main goal so it's always next day delivery on time delivery and how that's we, what we aim for but you're going out to america as yeah we're well. going out to america yeah so we've got uh we've got stock bills and stuff like that we're always hitting over the usage uh we're sending about 20 30 pallets a month um sending my air freight if we need to, to get in there next day and stuff like that so amazing we're and achieving the, thousand kits a month stuff like that and yeah. the growth plans for this company are it's amazing. just growing 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 yeah yeah just through the roof well, when you, when you look at some of the processes in, in general within your, Thanks, your, your shop Thanks. floor here, yeah. it's, to, to me, you know, these guys are really um, showing, showcasing what they're capable of by bringing the process back in. And it's a, a great UK manufacturing story as well. Can you stop dancing? Because there <laughs> is music, music going, on. going on. It is. It's a great UK manufacturing story and it is a fantastic company. We need to thank them, of course, for their hospitality. Um, and of course, you've got a big American flag ah. at the back there. So it's really showing uh, where the markets that they'd like to grow in. If you would like a 10 minute tour, do get in touch with us. And of course, do like, comment and subscribe to this video because um, it'd be good to hear from you as well. And if you've got any questions, you can send them through and we'll get Techni to answer them. And I think the uh, great thing to, you know, the reason the American flag is there, they, they do have distribution in the US, they are growing, but yeah. also in Australia. This company is a great UK manufacturing story and they are going places, definitely. Definitely.